questions? Tom, it seemed like you guys were able to pull within six, five points several times there, even in the fourth quarter. What, what didn't allow you to be able to get over the hump? Uh, you know, I didn't think we played well. I think we, we tied it with about eight minutes to go. And, uh, you know, and couldn't come up with big rebounds, turned the ball over, and we didn't cover the line. Those that drive and kick game that they had going is pretty pretty tough to go when when Hayward's shooting like like Hayward that. played a great game. They, uh, you know, we we talked about how they got their threes, how they get their threes, and that's what they are. They're a great three point shooting team, and uh, they have obviously a great defense. So, uh, you know, our turnovers hurt us, put it put them in the open floor, and then uh, you know they got. They got threes off that, too. With a lot of those driving kick threes, what did you think defensively? Anything you think could have been done differently rotation-wise? No, well, you know, because of the way they play, you know, the, when you have, and, you know, it's what we try to do as well with guys off the dribble. And uh, Haywood and Tatum and Morris are guys, they're, you know, they're wing players that could put her on the floor. Uh, and so, you know, your body position, has to be correct. Uh, Irving's been rolling for them, so we had to put uh, you know a lot of uh, attention on him. And then uh, they played off that well. Um, and then you know obviously when you have a guy like Horford, uh, who's just you know he, you you don't like I think you know obviously the the Celtics realize how valuable he is and all the things that he brings to a team that helps the team win. Uh, just his all-around play. He just makes everyone so much better. At the other end of the court, was it that they were getting back really well? It seemed like the pace yeah, was really good, slow very, for you guys. I'm sorry, yeah. It, and uh, that's, that's one thing that they do well. But I thought we could have gotten into the open floor more because uh, I thought we created some opportunities with turnovers too. Uh, but we, we didn't seem to be able to take advantage of it the way we would have liked. Obviously, Andrew's been struggling a little bit as of late. What did you see in the third quarter from him that allowed him to, to really? Well, I thought, we, you know, like we got him going by, you know, with drive and kick, you know. So, uh, and they have great versatility in terms of what Marcus Smart can do um, with veering back and things like that. And so uh, once we forced the shift and we put it on the floor and they're a very good help team, that's when we got good rhythm shots on the weak side. Tom, five turnovers from Jeff. Did you see him forcing things a little bit, or what did, what did you kind yeah, of see? Yeah, and again, there? And we knew, like, you know, the ball pressure from Smart is, you know, he's he's a terrific uh, defender. Um, so we'll, we'll take a look at that. Probably could have done a couple things to help him out, too. And a lot of traveling calls, it seemed like. Uh, yeah, I, I want to look at him. I, I, and I'm not. I'll leave it at that. I want to look at them. I, and I thought they had some too. So that's what I didn't like about the way the game was being called. Uh, Dario, you know, he's getting some of these open looks uh, from three, just not falling for him. Uh, is just just a case where a guy's in a slump right now? Uh, yeah. Three you or? know, like the thing is, as long as they're the right ones, you know, like you can't, uh, it's make or miss if they're, open spot up shots, I want him to shoot them. I don't want him overthinking it, um, you know, and I think he'll make those. And so, but he also has the ability to put it on the floor and make a play. Uh, he's very aggressive going to the offensive board. So I thought, I didn't think we played with great energy. And, you know, that's, that you need to play with great energy every night. Particularly because, you, you know, Irving's going to put a lot of pressure on you with his dribble penetration. And you have to be able to contain the ball and get out and cover the line. And, you know, you can't do one or the other. you got to fly around. You can't, you know, like if you stand and watch, you're in trouble. You talk about shooting when you're open without thinking. It seems like Jeff's passed up uh, a few decent looks at three. Would you prefer him, I guess, to, to attack as much as he is, or would you like to see him pull a few more of those? Yeah, no, I want him to shoot. I think shot preparation is so important. 
you know, and we have guys that are looking for each other and they're looking to make plays. I, I like the unselfishness of the team. There's penetration and then they're, they're looking to make the right play. And then we got to be ready to shoot it. You know, you're only going to be open for a split second. So knowing when to shoot, knowing when to pass, that's a, that's a big part of winning. Shorter stints for Gorgie in those two bench rotations. Is that just because you wanted Cat to space the floor a little bit more against those teams? Yeah, you know, I, I was trying to match him more with with Horford and we extended him more because I felt like we needed more scoring at one particular point and uh, you know I thought Gorgie gave us really good minutes in the fourth quarter. Coach with the the two point guards at the end of the game what does is, what is that, that give you with the having the second kind of secondary pick and roll you've talked about before can you went to like a two man game a lot what does having Jeff out there with Derek to close do? Yeah and also the, the other thing is uh, you know what you get with Wig out there, you know, and Cove is going to be because he's going to guard the primary score and give us the three-point shooting. But I like having, you know, I felt we needed guys that could go off to dribble too, and so having the, you know, Derek and Jeff, and then Wig also in transition. I wanted to try to get going and speed up the game a little bit.